Mutara says Irongo region contributes immensely to the country's economy because of its largest port in Valves Bay, significant uranium mines, gold, marble and lithium deposits, tourism and the fishing sector. The opening of the truck port service station, Mutara says, will further support the demand in logistics and improve social and economic status of the residents. He stressed it will undoubtedly improve and smoothen the movement of goods and commodities within the region, ease flow of trade, improve efficiency, reduce cost and attract new investors to the region. How is Namibia prepared to be competitive within this corridor that I'm talking about? Because again there, it is economic competition. If we provide the necessary infrastructures at our harbor there, at our airports, roads, railways, then we can invite investors to come in. But if we are lackluster, only relaxing, hoping that things will come right by themselves, the other countries will go. Speaking at the event, Swapo Party Secretary General Sophia Shaningwa called upon the business community to invest in various sectors of the economy. You are all called upon to make sure that you don't ask your government what it can do for you, but Perhaps just tell yourself what you can do to add to what the government can do for its citizen. In a speech read on his behalf, Irongo Governor Neville Andre urged the public and private sector to work together for the betterment of the country's future. I am proud to say that our government has made it a priority to develop policies and regulations that make it easier for investors to do business in our country. B2 truck port service station owner Cedric Lucas says they fought through storms such as COVID-19, which almost made it impossible to establish the service station. We have weathered storms, the largest being the COVID-19 global pandemic, which has impacted not only us, but the entire country. With time delays, financial implications, and mountains we sometimes thought impossible to move, bringing us to our knees. But we are here today, ladies and gentlemen, by God's grace. The Truckport service station that operates on solar power came at the cost of $10 million. Stefan, Europe, NBC News, Arandas.